G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and welcome back to the Clock Tower series, Oh, g'day bud, in Alpha 20, yeah mine too deeds, welcome back to day 41 of the Clock Tower series, where things are already getting a little bit reckless out here, you're jiggly, but I'll try and sort you out, there we go, there we go, Horde base seems to be working, Although much to my chagrin, my uh, my blade traps out there don't do dick. I'll try and like stand right against the edge to draw. Nah, see to try and draw Lozer in, but to no avail. So there are some things that I need to do to get this sorted out. That side, that side works for some reason. This side doesn't. I'm not entirely sure what the rhyme or reason for that actually is. But that is a tomorrow night problem because that's when the horde is next due to show up. But for today. I want to go all the way up here and finally, after dilly-dallying for quite a while, go and do this tier 4 fetch and clear that's been waiting for me for quite a bit. But before I can do that, there is something that I've been neglecting that I really, really need to get sorted out. And that is that I got the, uh, the recipe for the supercharger mod quite a while ago. There is the morning chime. And I never actually made one for my gyrocopter. So that's a little bit silly by me. I look in here. See, there's a fuel uh, tank mod, but no supercharger. And I want to go super speedy. I've got the need for speed like I'm Tom Bloody Cruise. Time to slap on some extra... Ah, what's the, what's the word for it? Displacement. That's the one. So I needed short iron pipes. I needed steel. I also needed a brass radiator, which I don't actually have. I turn all my brass stuff into regular brass and use that for ammo and mechanical parts. Well, I should actually find mechanical parts and pipes over in cars, which I'm going to need to go and break down to get a radiator. So that's reasonably doable. And in fact, while I'm heading out, I'll grab, I've got lots of concrete now. I'll grab a little bit of you and a little bit of you because overnight I was a good little mischief maker and I went out there with my brand new tier five auger and broke down one of the entryways into my base on this side. So now all that's remaining for me to do is just to quickly pour in damn it pour in some concrete gonna need the rest of the supplies as well and get that wall nice and fixed up and then that's it then every part of my compound is gonna have the uh the appropriate wall on it and i'm pretty much good to go give me that give me that and let me go fix it all up this is good. The compound's almost done. Just fix up the last couple. Um, I did have dreams of turning like all like the ground in here, all of the soft, dirty stuff into a farm. But now that I know that farms are basically worthless uh, in Alpha 20, I'm less excited about that. In fact, I'll just use my fists to harvest you. Am I going to get any seeds back this time? No, that was super corn. It also didn't get the seed back. There's one seed, <laughs> two seeds. It's not going well. The, the spuds actually gave me all the seeds back. That's pretty good, but I've definitely come out of that worse off than how I went into it. Chuck you guys back in, you guys back in. That spells the end of my super corn production, which I'm a little bit upset about, but just going to have to deal with it. Oh, actually, I'll take this stuff with me. Could we jump on the bike and head out? Don't want to take the gyro to go break down cars. Don't close yet, don't close yet, don't close yet. No, oh, damn it. That's fine. All right, let's go find some cars to break down. I need one radiator. Where are they all going to be? Just going to rock on through the uh, through the suburbs and grab whatever cars I can. I've like, I've already, oh. <laughs> all right then. In fact, you know, I'll break you down. I came all this way. May as well break down the car as well. But I've already like taken all of the cars out of the city. So I have to go to rock the suburbs uh, to grab whatever I need to now. <laughs> that was that was way more successful than I anticipated. Not only did I find those two radiators stacked in the back of the car for some reason, but I also got one out of the car itself. So that's pretty bloody successful. Nice short trip just out of town. I'm having a bit of a day today. I'm just not... <laughs> Sometimes I, I start filming and my brain's like, what? You want to say words? Good bloody luck. I refuse to do what you want to do. And I just have a bit of a moment. That's fine. You can hang out there. God, I love this base now. I've got my force field, automatic doors, the whole kit, and all caboodle. This is going well. So that's only going to take just over two minutes. That's fine. You can all go into there, and I will, as always, even though even though now I found myself in a situation where I needed radiators, I'll still scrap you for the brass. Uh, the rest of this stuff gets scrapped and put away as well. Had a cheeky bear murder while I was out there as well, but it's nothing to worry about. Chuck it all away. That one, that one, that one. In fact... Yeah, now you go in there because I've been making 
You're still cooking away. I even make myself some meat stew. Look at it sizzling. Getting it down to a fine broth. Uh, I'm not hungry nor thirsty, so you can just hang out in there for a bit. But I'm really starting to get my life in order now. While I'm waiting for that supercharger, which I keep going to say turbocharger, that's what I'm normally used to, but the supercharger, while that's crafting way up there, I do want to figure out what the actual problem here is. So this side, they go through there nice and happily, but I guess on this side, they just slip through this little gap just there without really a worry at all. How do I stop them though? I suppose I could move these up and put some more railings there so it kind of matches up nicely. It would... It is going to ruin the line of what I've got going on here a little bit. But I'm just going to have to deal with it. For once, I need to build for function, not just for form. It just like, just rubs me the wrong way. I was really hoping that breaking down the um, the blocks underneath the railings would let the top ones topple. But apparently, with the magic of the blade trap physics that's happening at the moment, uh, it somehow gripped onto you and held you in place. But I think that's going to just about do my allotted time. But I'd want to go do that tier 4 quest. I've been putting it off for a while. I just wanted to get... There it is. My turbo... My supercharger. I told you I was going to get it wrong a whole bunch. That's now done. That's now good. We are going on... Look at all the ammo I have now. A reasonably big raid. Only going to need one full stack of shotgun shells because the shotgun murders buildings pretty happily. But I guess if I just take... A big old stack of 762 ammo that might come in handy. Could also do. I got one repair kit. All right, sure, that'll work. Nice. Okay, my whole top line is loaded up. Although I'm going to go raid, I will need one of you. Oh no, there we go. One of you, one of you, and also, as normal, like a cheeky stack of 10 lock picks. There we go. All right. Nice, I think I'm pretty good to go. Let's get going. I'll put those candies and things away into DD. You can just hold on to those. Uh, that can all stay with me. That's fine. All right, now, turbo supercharger, you go into here. I thought supercharger, and I was like, no, wait, that's the wrong one. It's the other one. And then it said turbo uh, again, but supercharger, in you go. So at the moment, without the supercharger... <laughs> Come on, me. Without the supercharger, I'm doing 15 meters per second. Chuck it in. Extra 2 meters per second. I have no idea how it's going to apply when I'm doing the um the super efficiency glitch by holding shift W, C, and spacebar all at the same time. Levels you off and lets you fly really nicely. So we'll see how that's going to go. You don't have a whole lot of gas in you, but you should be all right if I just top you up a little bit. Not all the way to the brim. Ah, fuck. I want to go all the way to the brim. All right, skies are looking clear. You can see Dishong all the way in the distance out there. Still have the quest to go and raid that at some point, but it's going to have to wait until day 43 at least after the next horde. Lots of ammo, lockpicks, all the things I think I'm going to need. All right. Well, no time like the present. Let's see if we can take off nice and easily. Again, we've had a little bit... Oh, God. A little bit of luck with the, of late. Oh, get up. Get up. Oh, <laughs> Well, I was asking to get up, and instead I got some wood. Not really the intended purpose, but the game's having a laugh, it seems. There we go. We defined physics enough to get up into the skies. Not a clean option. That gyro pad has not worked well for me. Barely at all. It would have worked better, actually, if I built it on the other side. Then I'd have significantly less buildings in my flight line. It's down here somewhere, and from memory, I'm pretty sure it was on the other side of that little ditch in the road up there. Oh no, it's on this side of the ditch in the road. All right, fair play then. Let's see if I can test my lackluster piloting skills again. And, well, I was going to say, and not be disappointed, but I'm expecting it to crash and burn. Well, if I do that, then I should be disappointed. I was expecting it in the first place. But if I just chuck you down on that road just next to the digger there, swing around. Doesn't matter how hard you hit the deck, as long as you hit it in the right spot. That's a little bit too far away, I think. A little bit too far away. Mm, yeah, not great. Not great. I need to be further back that way so I can still drop things off in the gyro if I run out of room. There's the marker. That's where I need to be. I missed that by a mile. I was about to jump back in the gyro and try and just drive it back again. I could pick up the helicopter. It's fine. I have gigantic pockets like I'm wearing oversized car keys. I can just pick it up and drop it where I need it to be. Back over here. Speak. Oh, there are some construction workers always Master, down. We are not alone. Oh, we're really not alone. There's a lot of them around. Excuse me. I need to deal with Muppets coming out of the hole right quick. Oh, God. They're right quick. Huh. All right. Who would have thought that landing in a city might cause an issue or five? Oh, frame rate, please. Frame rate, stay with me. Ow. 
Oh, I'm bleeding. It's been a hot minute since I started bleeding. You know what? No one makes me bleed my own blood. Not even you, clowns. You're all about to go whatever version of heaven you have with the barrel of a shotgun. Well, that's not a particularly great start to the day. I now have a, uh, was it abrasion? Oh, I hear footsteps. It's just you. Sort you out. I was going to get a nice clean headshot. The shotgun still seems to work occasionally. If you're propped up for it and asking for it, I'd be rude not to. So I have an abrasion, which what? It's hurt me a little bit. Not so bad, but I've already treated it, which is fine. That's why I like rolling with first aid bandos instead of regular ones. But it's not the deep lacerations that need the needle and thread, which is what I was actually worried about when I first got tickled. Huh. Okay, well, that's uh, not how I saw my day going. Not a great start. We'll get inside though and get rocking on. Quickly change over for that one. G'day, love. How I am? Wanna oh, oh, that's let's g'day. God up damn it. Something. Everyone's out here today. Leave me alone. I came to do a job, not to faff about with you munchkins. Get back in your grave. Old mate dropped a bit of loot for me, so I'll have a bit of a squeeze in you. What you got? Oh, a little bit. Some, well, dog food. I was going to say some food and drink, but I kind of want to save the dog food in case I can make myself some more learning elixir later. There's got to be something else down here, right? I mean, all the zombies that were down here woke up and came to have a bit of a chat with me, and all they got to do was chat with my shotgun instead. I'll scrap you. I'll take that for future drinks. Anything down under here? Get a little bit soggy. No, nothing much at all. Is that it? There's nothing here. So all that was down here was, like, one bag? That's that's not that great at all, actually. I was expecting maybe something, but I guess not. Something hiding in here? No, nothing there either. God, there's nothing here. All right, that's going to end my fun adventure down into the dirt pit. Oh, I was just climbing up an excavator just because I bloody could. It's already, geez, it's already 20 to 11. All I've done is flown into town and caused a bit of a hubbub with the local residents. Not really how I foresaw it all going down. Give me you. I'll scrap you because the polymers are worth more than a half broken bloody... God damn! A half broken uh, mining helmet is what I was looking for. Jeez. I mean, I know I murdered lots of people, but calling the cops is a little rich. There's clearly lots of other issues going on, not just little old me. Uh, you can hold on to that one for me because you can't stack. The rest of these can be stacked or scrapped or whatever. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's start you. I'm now locked in. Deeds, are you ready? Give me a heads up if any more of the fuzz show up. Look at you. Look at you. Can't even bloody believe it. You can shake your head all you want, buddy boy. You're still dead. I think the best option for this is just going to be to get brave. We know that I can't... Shit! We know that I can't stealth to save my life. Not only because Feral Sense is turned on, but also because, just like that, imaginary lines will wake up everybody in the building. So I'm better off just going shotguns. Oh, blazing, though hitting a target or two would probably help me out considerably. There we go. Wade through the puddle of zombies we've poured for ourselves. But yeah, just like getting a little bit brave with it, getting a bit loud with it and waking people up and fighting them as they come to me will probably be a much better option. Oh, yep, there you go. In fact, let's do the same thing again. That worked out pretty well last time. Set on the other side of the door, wait for them to all show up, then line up their noggins. I have trapped DD on the other side of the wall with them, though. You guys coming through the wall? It's not quite- Oh god! Not quite how I particularly envisioned it, but that definitely is! Oh, that's why he was coming through the wall. I'll put you out of your misery there, buddy. I mean, I know you're half dead, but half burying yourself ahead of time. You're just being considerate. It's fine. I appreciate the hustle trying to help me out, uh, myself out a little bit. A hobo stew. I mean, that'll sort out all of my stuff. I'll hold on to you for later uh, for when I am actually a little bit more parched. Grab all of you. Cheeky coffees and more cheeky coffees. Oh, this is my kind of place. Just checking my compass. The satchel I need is up above me somewhere. So I can Arthur, keep... Oh, God. Oh, my God. He came in behind me. So I can keep on pushing through. Can I shoot through the bars? Maybe. Oh, I could if I could actually hit something. Sorry, Deeds. I had to take off his arm. He was trying to give you a cuddle, but I'm the only one who can cuddle my DD. Yeah, you piss off. I'll slice you up like a bloody mace window. Oh, it's, I thought for a second it was a screamer. It's fine. There's someone up on the roof. Keep on pushing. You reckon there's something up there for me? I feel like... 
Oh, come on, frame rate. I feel like I might have tested it before. No, oh, that was DD. DD, stop scaring me. Up onto the roof, into the blazing sunshine. I'm hoping we're my SPF 50 plus up here, or else I'm going to get quite sizzled. It's just you. That's fine. Oh, you juked me. The vultures are getting out. Real good at the juking stuff. That hurt a lot. You flappy fuck. I'm going to have to use another one of my bandos. Although, it gives me 30 health. I only need... I'm only 20 down. I might save it because I'm not having a particularly good run at the moment. I don't want to waste it if I don't need to. Wait, and now... Wait, now the satchel's below me? Hang on. Hang on a second. So it's up from here. On this level. So is it in... The roof? No? Wait, what? How? I'm confused. Oh, God. <laughs> DD, would you stop teleporting through walls and scaring me half to death? That's not what I need right now. What I need is to know where the bloody satchel is. And it's just there. Let's use the shotgun for... No, nope, it's made of concrete. Never mind. I thought it might be wood. I could open it up really easily. The weapons bag in there. I have... I was going to say, I feel like there's someone guarding it. And sure as shit there was. Made mince me to him though. So how do I get into, into there? There's no... Well, there's a door here, but I don't know if that's the correct way to go. I don't know. I'll see if I can... Maybe there's something in the roof. I don't know. The game's doing weird things and showing me places I didn't think of to start with. Tier 6 Nux. I'll take you. I'm not going to waste my repair kit on you though. I need that for my shotgun before long. Given how often I'm using it. Just use the sneaky block to get up onto the roof and have a bit of a squeeze. There we go. There is a hatch over there. So how... Oh. G'day, mate. So how... Was I supposed to get up here then, if not that way? But you got to climb the aircon. I'm aware, DD. God, you can't let me know of anything that's happening before it's already too late. The only time you tell me there's zombies is when they're already wearing me like a bloody back pocket. You as well. Oh, I see. Oh, actually, I remember this place. <gasps> That's the elevator. Last time I came here a while ago now, back in Horde every night, I got trapped in the elevator for half a day. Don't want to do that this time. <laughs> There's only so much I can embarrass myself before I probably have to let it lie. But you're locked, though. And you're super strong. So why would I go through there when instead I can just go through the door here? Huh. Okay. Never mind then. I'll just make my own way. There we go. Ooh, we're in... So... Okay, so I wasn't supposed to come through there either. I get up here later on. Hey, bud. Got any friends? Yes, you do by the sounds of it. You were getting cozy with Ali, and that was a big drop of frames. I think I just double shot my shotgun, but... That's all right. I'm happy to decapitate everybody on the stairs. No one else? That's fine. It was a stairway to heaven. Not what they had in mind to start with, though. Grab you. We're done. Let's continue on. Here we go. So these are the stairs that led up to the satchel. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, stair practice for me, not being able to follow instructions, but I found out where I needed to go eventually. You can sell for 200 smackers. I'll take that and won't take the paper. Is it getting to the point now, though? Like, yes, having the looting gogs on is great, but my looting stage is 97 compared to... What is it without them on? 92. So it does give me plus 5. Would have thought it be plus 4, given that's what it says there. But how it gives me plus 5, maybe there's a decimal that's getting rounded up there or something. So it might be worthwhile until I get to, like... Loot stage 100, because 100 and 105 is no different. So I'll keep on with for now. But once I get up to, like, that higher level, I think it might be time to retire them. Although even at this point, like, what am I hoping to find here? There's not really much. I'll save them for, like, the main loot room. But, like, everyday looting is not going to be that much for me. There's a bookstore here, so I'll put my shotgun away. Last thing I want to do is destroy any more knowledge that has been lost in the apocalypse already. Als? <laughs> Wait, are you here to serve me? Do you have, look, there's lots of books that I need. Can I put in like a request or something? Are you like the library? Are you an Arlene library? Can I read you and gather the knowledge? There's lots of books that I need here. I'll just give you the list. Although I don't really ever intend on coming back to you, so never mind. 
It's just been a long time since I got excited about finding a bookstall. Since they nerfed the books, and I get that they had to because you can't be finding books all the time, but like since like the new bookshelves came in that just give you paper all the time, my excitement has slowly dwindled to the point that now I see bookshelves and don't really feel much about it at all. That wasn't the gun that I was intending on pulling out. There you go, Nance. There you go, Nance. You found me eventually. Good job. Did you manage to find one book and a uh, skim? Ooh, wait, the book isn't really worth that much. We well, are taking out space then. I'll just read you anyway. Schematics are apparently worth almost double a book. So, all right, fair enough then. I'll turn all that wood into frames. Chuck the last one away. How am I looking? A little bit peckish, not very thirsty. So we're looking good. Up we get. Shotgun back out again. Anyone waiting for me in the loom? Anyone? Oh, God. Master, we are not alone. Yep, no, nah, I know that. Thanks, DD. <laughs> Not always the most, um, timely of instructions. If you were a co-driver on a rally stage, we'd be crashing an awful lot. By the sounds of things, I have a friend downstairs waiting for me to be done or for me to drop my guard to sneak up behind me, as all zombies do. I do have... I will hide over here for a little bit. I do have those three skill points, but because I'm so desperate to get my soul up, I know that I need max level uh, better barter to do that, and I have the forgetting elixir back home. So what I'm hoping... I'm pretty sure I need six points, two to get up to the next level, then three points for the last level of intellect, I think. So if I can get that, then I can buy my solar bank, be done with it, swig on down the uh, the forgetting elixir, and reset all my points. Because I don't need better barter. I do need max level Derek Adventure. I'm going to keep that because it's really bloody good. Then I can probably spec into things a bit better than I have now with less kind of like random points all over the place. Like, do I really need any points in Lucky Looter anymore? I don't think I do. Oh god, I got into a bit of a fracas down here in the lobby and apparently everyone upstairs has awakened to that. Huh. Uh, well I need to find them <laughs> very quickly and put a stop to them. Quickly chuck on these for good old times, nothing there anyway, don't know why I bothered. So there's all the loots. Is that where the zombies have woken up? It seems like that's where all the dots are. Huh. Okay. Okay. My frame rate's chug a luggin'. I'll get over there and murder him in a second. There's lots more to do, though. That's what I mean by, like, when I, when I talk about the stealth being broken and stuff like that. It's zombies that are spawning in. Oh, God! Where they shouldn't have yet. Causing the issues. Sorry. Sorry to all of the cubicles. I just murdered as well. Oh, God. They're all coming. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Almost got trapped in a bloody windowsill. Piss off, you gaping banana. Oh, boy. This is a lot more than I anticipated. Take off their kneecaps if you have to. Just keep firing. Shotgun will save all. Especially you. Piss off. They just keep on coming, but I can keep on taking off noggins. That's fine by me. Pretty sure you're dead. That was the sound of a white, though. Oh, come on, frame rate. Stay with me, please. I really need some buttery smooth goodness right now. He's outside of the bulletproof glass, so that's fine. They're coming through here by the looks of things. Let's see if I can have a bit of a squeeze. Can you shoot, please? I was tapping the trigger an awful lot there, and nothing much was happening. The game is staggering so much, it won't even register me pulling a bloody trigger. That's pretty important stuff. Ooh, but nothing to lose your head about, bud. Where did the white go, though? I heard the moaning and groaning of a white. Where is it? I don't hear any footsteps anymore, and it makes me anxious. At least the frame rate's gotten a little bit better now that I've killed all the zombies. There's some eye candy there, but I don't have any- Shit! Don't have any dollary doos on me! Enough with the jump scares! Oh, man! At some point, not too long ago, this game turned a corner between being, like, atmospheric and spooky, like Alien Isolation, into this full-on Five Nights at Freddy jump scare spec. Oh, man! They're all just like, they're all just lurking in the most perfect positions possible to give you the biggest bloody heart stopper. You gotta stop. The zombies, like, I know they're smart, but that's taking it to a whole new level. Ooh. Oh, that's where they broke out of. Okay, they've kind of ruined the final jump scare for the loot room down below. That's all right. There's spiders outside and that's fine with me. Just make sure there's, oh God. Are you a landmine? I did read the book the other day. I don't see any C4 under you, so I don't think you are, just to make myself feel a little bit better about it, though. Although, that might end really badly. Maybe I won't shoot that potential landmine. I'll just leave it there just in case. 
Yep, now all the zombies in the zombie trap are gone. I'll quickly chuck on you. Have a squeeze through that. Have a squeeze through that. Nothing them. I need to deal with the zombies outside. Yep, yeah, cheers, biggies. I also need to murder whoever's waiting for me up there. It's the last of the clear area. Um, right. Who is outside? There's so much moaning out there. There's a spider there and some on this side too. I'll uh, open the door, kill them, and then do the looting. Don't need to rush anything just yet. One there. Nope. There we go. As long as I get them staggered, we're all good. But there's a time and a place we do those things to Loza. Not when I'm staring at you, though. Oh, that's just teasing me. There's a solar bank right there, and I would love to take you home with me, but I can't. You're just going to have to sit there and think about the better life you could have had back at the clock tower. So this is up on the roof. Oh, wait, have I not gone? There's a lot of footsteps. Oh, that's why, because there's a whole bloody horde downstairs. That might be problematic in a little bit, given I opened the door downstairs. Did I just skip this whole area the first time round? I could have... Oh, <laughs> clever girl. I could have sworn this is the way I should have come. Yeah, that's the cubicle where I had the fight before. So, like, the zombies waking up and breaking down doorways has sent me the wrong way. Now I've got to find the rest of the clans to Master, kill. we are not alone. Thank you, Deeds. Uh, I'll just go back this way. Got to find them up to murder. Hello? Anyone here? G'day, g'day. How's it going? All right, I'll see you on the pipes. Get over here and we'll have a, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have a bit of a tango. Those guys are dead. It's just the clowns on the other side of that wall now that I need to deal with. My job- Oh god, they made it in. My job at least for Trade Potato is done. So that's all fine. Where are you going? There you go. Come up the stairs. Who else is here? Was it just you guys that made it up the top? I don't know. I don't know. There's zombies everywhere now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. There they all are. Well, maybe not the sniper actually. Let's just- I did bring lots of stacks of 762, so I'm pretty right just to indiscriminately murder all of them. Plus, being up the top means a lot of accidental headshots. Well, good enough to score them deliberately, so may as well hedge my bets a little got bit. A bad feeling about this. Do ya? I've got a good feeling about this, given I have the high ground. And if Anakin taught me anything, it's not to underestimate your own power. Then it works out. Anyway, shitty Star Wars references that I don't quite get right aside. This is up the top where all the rest of those gubbins were. Yeah, and that's how you get down, supposedly, into there. No. I don't know. I don't know. I'm all turned around. Let's go get the loot and get out of here. Because that job's now done, I can now... Ooh, you're full of something. I'll take the one mod I had stored in you out and quickly just move the gyro into a slightly easier takeoff position. Just there. Nope, that's the wrong way. Go that way. And you can now hold on to all this extra stuff. In you go. Nice. Okay. Now, DD's got all my looting stuff, so that's fine. So I can pop the looting candy. I'll try. I'll try and get into the um into the big box without using the lockpicking candy as I normally do to just to save myself on that if I have the opportunity to. Only takes a couple of attempts and occasionally we get lucky. That's fine. Just hedging my bets a bit. Just trying to be not a Muppet for a change. It's hard work for me, though. Oh, but it's paid off immediately because got in on the first crack. Deeds, how are ya? Let me have a little chat to you. Um, and pop in the eye candy. Nice. Got five whole minutes to loot the place. I'm not going to need all of it. Large ammo pile. Has some ammo. Never saw that one coming. I'm not expecting the loot to be great because I am still in the pine forest. But it's always worth a gander. I'll scrap you for the military armor parts. Iron breaker mortar book. I can sell some more lock picks. Thank you. And some cash as well. What's in you? The sword off shotgun mod that actually does nothing, which is rather upsetting because like a sword off pumpy would look sick, but you're already kind of sawn off already. So I'm not sure if that's kind of like, this is what it's supposed to look like when you have the sawn off mod with a longer barrel without it, but it is what it is. Search you, bit of extra dinosaurs, search these things as well. Cars always have the chance to give you some good gubbins. That's actually not bad, some steel sledge from parts and, well, nothing in you, but that's fine. Uh, where was the other stuff? There was one more box upstairs. Then we're good to go. Just some pistol parts and more ammo making stuff. All right, cool bananas. Deeds, you're good. You're ready to rock and roll. I assume you are because I am and you're just my little companion pal. Well, now I want to know though. Now I want to know if this actually was a mine or not. 
No, it wasn't. It was safe all along. That's fine. God, I feel so much better having that book, though. Me being as unobservant as I am, anytime I can just, like, remove the chance of splitting myself up against a landmine is a good bloody day. Up we go with the speed of the supercharger. <laughs> Every time. Every time I second guess myself with that thing. Damn it, me. Come on, get into gear. It's not quite closing time for Jen just yet. I definitely feel like I am going that little bit faster with the supercharger. So I think that was a worthwhile... That was a nice little drop off. I think it was a worthwhile investment. Uh, XP goes to stay on. Still got two and a half minutes of my looting panic as well. That shit lasts a while now. Uh, oh my god. Three sugar butts? Whew. I mean, normally I'm excited just for Jen, but that's a whole other thing. Uh, under the weather. I am not feeling under weather at well, all. I'm feeling really good fucking good. Tier 6 steel axe. One of the few things I don't have in tier 6 yet. Yes, I need a tier 6 shotgun still, but anything for a tier 6 upgrade, I am all fucking about. Give me that one. I suppose the shed is probably the other most valuable thing there. I have first aid bandos, so that's fine. Um... I'll just take you. You're just going to give me like three grand as well. What other jobs do you have? Tier 5 fetch and clear to the south. That's in my hometown. Yeah, to handle the top Skyscraper Thanks, 2. Is hey, that the construction sites? No, it's the cracker book. Oh, doing that as a quest would be a real big effort. Especially because... I couldn't just skedaddle when that last horde shows up. I couldn't run back to my horde base to fight them. I would have to fight it as the game intended. Just not how I play the game. I don't play Seven Days to Die as the devs intended it to. Fuck that noise. Well, in that case, I'll grab those sugar butts. Thank you very much. That's a really good bloody, a good end to an already good day. Although I did just kind of have the thought, how the shit am I going to land my, um, my gyrocopter on my terrible landing pad if I'm now moving even faster than I was before? I was having trouble at a snail's pace. Now I slapped on the old cheetah legs. I'm going to be coming in at Mark 7. This is going to go badly. This is going to go badly. Maybe we should have bought some oh shit drops while I was there as well. Well, we'll see how we go, but I'm not confident at all. I really do think I need to redesign this gyro pad. Even just flipping it to the other side would be considerably better than I currently have now. I've overshot that. I've overshot that. God, I had the easiest run in you could have asked for. I was going relatively slow and I still bloody binned it. All right, we'll have a cheeky go around and see if we can do it better from this direction. No, no, no. That's why you drop it now? Where was that gusto to get down to the deck a second ago? I, I couldn't have done that any worse. That is, that's horrific, Josh. Sort out your life, please. Oh God, I've awoken the dead as well. Apparently I didn't enjoy my chopper crash into their slumber party over here. Oh, I've woken up a lot. I've been meaning to raid the church for a while. Now I'm paying the price for dilly-dallying. What, 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 what? I don't even know what was going on there, but Deeds, I need you to hold on to a bunch of gubs because I'm chock-a-block and I need to pick up my gyro because I have wedged that like no tomorrow. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Look, you can go back to napping if you want. Am I dead? I mean, if anyone was going to get buried in that, it was clearly going to be me. <laughs> Although, once again, it's a yuck purple. Barely even a tinge of it. That's fine. I'll just throw my own bones away. Well, you know what? Clear that's given my own body. I'll take that home and try and repatriate myself back in my own my own quarters. There's a house gap in defense there too. Man, I, um, I just had a whole like, kind of crisis. Maybe this whole playthrough is a dream. I don't know. I can hear some zombies outside. I'll quickly chuck on the old whirly girlies again. So I suppose, like, with this, with these walls now, I can't actually see. There you go. When the zombies are showing up. God, you're really weak when you find them back into the wall, though. Deeds, get out of the... <gasps> Deedee, -dee, stay out of the blade traps, you muppet. You're going to get your propellers cut off by other sharper propellers. So, hang on. Why are you working now? I went out there and broke the blocks underneath to try and get you working, and now that they're gone... So you went the right way. So I do need to start their pathing over to the left further away. That's fine. But the start over there, then that's fine. 
Doggo gets sliced up too. They're all nice and weak when they make it to the wall now. Between that, my electric fence and my club of death. That should be reasonably all right. I wish they did more damage though. If you're walking through, copping a bloody fan blade to the neck, surely that'll decap you a little bit easier than it does. Grab all those gubs out of DD. Thank you. Got some dollar redos I can chuck away. Now, I have that tier six axe. I'll grab you and do the quick little changeover. So I have an extra mod slot for you now. I could grab that weighted head mod actually and chuck it in. Although I like having all those mods in my impact driver. I can just grab you, couldn't I? I don't know. I already have you to go into it. Damn it. Okay, fair enough then. Although... I probably use, oh, see, I use the pickaxe a lot and I use the fire axe a lot, uh, but I don't have a diamond tip mod in either of them. There's my diamonds there. Might have to make one of those right quick to chuck into my new lovely doubly axe, just to make it that extra bit stronger. That's going to take about four minutes, so I'll chuck you on now. I still regret, I, I don't know why I did, I'm normally better than that, but I sold all of the diamonds I found until recently, which has come back to haunt me a little bit. Uh, my food box. I mean, now I'm very hungry, so I'll slurp down a hobo stew now. Gives me lots of perks, which I very much adore. So tomorrow is going to be horde night. I do need to fix up those railings down there. In fact, overnight, I'll get down there with my pickaxe and break those two railings away and set up some new railings a bit further back. It's not going to line up with the existing uh, silhouette of that horde base at the moment, but it should make it more manageable. And in fact, even if I put one like that, I'll use my sniper rifle to demonstrate this. If I go up there up there and then put the angled blocks in like that then i'll have a nice clean area there to lob some molotovs and stuff into without really much to worry about so i'll get rid of those railings and have that ready to go so tomorrow morning i'll be up early ready to rock and roll and ready to murder the day 42 blood moon horde now the deal before was that if i survived every, like every two weeks that i survived i would up the difficulty and up the zombie speed uh, I can't really do that anymore because it's already insane nightmare. So instead, if I survive day 42, I think I'll just crank up the Horde Night Zombies as, you know, it's going to be like kind of variable I have left. That's a little bit ominous. But I'll crank that up a little bit and that can be like how I can balance it a bit more. Because at the moment though, I'm actually, you know, I got fucked up on that last raid. I'm no longer the god of the apocalypse. I'm reasonably evenly matched. <laughs> Stop with the ominous thunderclaps. But I'll have to come back and probably get clapped in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. Even though I talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.